I got cash back. I just came back from Joe and Fabrics and I want to make McCall's 8139. I want to make View C. It is rated as average. It does have a belt. It has pockets, buttons down the front. It has quite a few details so I thought I would give it a try. I purchased this twill fabric and it does have a little bit of stretch in it and I also purchased this trim and I want to use it in this garment somehow so we'll see how that goes I also purchased some buttons to go down the front and some thread I got two I just needed this one but I bought this one because I thought it matched pretty well with the fabric so I'm going to go ahead and start pressing this fabric so I can get ready to cut everything out I have the fabric laid out on the ironing board and I noticed this line going all the way down. I don't like that. I don't know if it's because I washed the fabric without unfolding it all the way. I don't know. But this line is here. I'm not liking it. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and still sew it up and see what happens. I was trying to see if I could just flip the fabric and use this as the right side. But I actually like this side better because it's much brighter. And this side is a little more dull so I don't know I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it and hopefully it won't look too bad okay look there's this line now I know that this did not come from washing this is actually a flaw in the fabric so I'm gonna take this back to Joanne Fabrics because I can deal with the line the discoloration because I may have done that but this part I don't think this was for me so I'm going back to the store Oh, is it fabric? Yes. You have to get it measured at the cutting counter first. After I stopped by the cutting counter, I did some shopping around and I was able to find the exact same fabric. So I just got the fabric cut, but we opened it up and it looks like there is the line here that I had the problem with. And I'm still in the store and I think this is just the fold that is on the fold. So I may just find some different fabric altogether because I don't think I really want this line on my garment. Okay, so I just finished making my return. I got cash back. I wanted the money to go back on my card, but they didn't ask me, so I ended up getting cash back. And that's okay. But the good thing is I was able to return the fabric without a problem. The only thing that they needed to do was to have me go to the measuring counter just to make sure that the fabric hadn't been cut. So I actually returned the fabric, the trim, and also the buttons. My $10 bill is over here. So yes, I was able to return everything. I'm a little sad because I really like the fabric, but I'm so glad that I was able to figure out what the issue is. And now I just need to find some new fabric so that I can make this dress in something different. When I was returning the fabric at Joanne Fabrics, the day I was in there, I just had so many things to do. So I did not have time to look around for any new fabric. So I returned the fabric and then I left and I came home and now I'm actually cutting out the pattern because that was something I needed to finish doing is cutting out the pattern. And so I still don't have any fabric for this dress just yet, but my plan is to stop by Hobby Lobby because I think Hobby Lobby has a section for twill fabric. And I really think that this dress would look really cute in some type of twill. And of course, if I find any twill fabric, I'll be sure to open it up and see if there is a crease on the bolt. I never thought to do that before, but now I know that that's something I need to check for. One thing that I like about this pattern that I did not realize is that View C has side pockets. On the pattern envelope, it does show the model with her hand in her pocket but I didn't realize you see had the side pockets so I think that's cool because you have side pockets and then you have front pockets so I think that will be nice 
After I cut out the pattern, I did go ahead and go to Hobby Lobby to see if they had any twill fabric. I actually did find some twill fabric and I opened it up to examine it and make sure there weren't any creases going down any folds because I really wanted to learn from my previous mistake. So Hobby Lobby actually had the perfect twill fabric. The only problem is that it was 52 inches wide, so I would have needed to at least purchase three yards, and it was $16.99, and it wasn't on sale, no coupons or anything. So I was like, oh, that's a little bit pricey. So I'm gonna keep looking and see if I can find something more reasonable. Look what I'm doing. I am cutting out my pattern. After I left Hobby Lobby, I decided to go to Joanne Fabrics again. And I actually found this 100% cotton denim. So it was in the denim section. And I really like it. It doesn't have any stretch or anything to it. But I picked it up because I thought it would really look nice in this dress, especially since denim was one of the fabric recommendations. This is just a close-up of what it looks like. It's kind of like an orange color, I guess. I've decided that I only want to put one pocket on the front as opposed to two pockets, one on each side. I'm just going to put one. The dress for Busey has two carriers in the front and two carriers in the back for the belt to go through. And this is the piece for the carriers. So you take your fabric and fold it in half and then you're going to cut four strips here. I decided to purchase this trim and I want to use this trim for the carriers. I thought it matched up pretty nicely so I'm gonna fold this in half and it's not the same width but as, as long as it opens up wide enough I think it will be okay to get the belt through the loop. This fabric that I purchased was $12.49 a yard, so that wasn't bad. And it was nice and wide, so I was able to get the right amount that I needed without having to purchase a lot more. So I saved money there, which is nice. I also purchased some buttons to go down the front. Here are the buttons that I purchased. The pattern calls for 10, but I only found eight. I may have to leave off a couple buttons here and there, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'll just do all the other things in the meanwhile and then figure out what I need to do when I get to that point. I wanna share what I just did. This is a laser level, and what I like to do is use this to help me make sure I keep my pattern pieces on the grain line, make sure that they're nice and even. So I like to find a line on the cutting mat and I will place the laser level on a particular line. And then I find the grain line on the pattern piece and I line the grain line up with that red laser level line. And I'll go around and do this for all the pattern pieces. Of course, I would move this down and make sure everything is lined up. And then I'll go ahead and cut everything out hold it down, cut it out, and that way I make sure that all the pattern pieces are nice and straight. This is the back yoke attached to the back. The pattern calls for top stitching and I just decided to use a beige thread. So this is where I am so far. I'm using this foot to go into the groove to help keep the top stitching even. Here is a closer look at the foot that I was using. I believe this is a stitch in the ditch foot. I am working on step number 29 and I just wanted to show you what I did. There was a dot here. This little corner had a dot so I sewed over to the dot and up from the dot and then I snipped into the curve or the triangle and then you are to flip this out and then when you turn it 
you'll have like a corner like this and you'll do the same thing to the other side and then this is where you will attach the collar and this is how it would look from the opposite side this is the front side and this is the wrong side I wanted to use this trim for the carriers but I don't really like the way that it looks so I'm going to go ahead and cut the carriers out of the rest of the denim fabric I am actually hand sewing the buttons on. I have one more to do. And because I only had eight buttons instead of 10, I'm leaving off two of the buttons that were to go right up here at the very top. I am extremely happy with the way this garment came out. I love the split in the front and the split in the back. And I am really glad that I changed out the carriers. Although I like this dress as a dress, I love it as a coat dress. <laughs> 